Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about what you should have in your special effects kit if you're just starting out and you're not sure what to buy. And this video has got to be the most requested video, so I'm really excited to do it for you guys. It's going to be a million swatches in this video, so I hope you all enjoy those as well. And yeah, so I'm going to tell you the products that I love and what I recommend you guys to buy or use and majority of the items you can just find around your house as well so that's the best thing with special effects makeup you don't actually need to buy a whole lot of stuff so I hope you guys all enjoy the video so let's just get started so whenever I do my special effects makeup I really like to use paint brushes I don't really like to use any other brushes other than them except for my major look brushes but then again Lex designed them especially for body painting and special effects makeup so I really think that paint brushes are awesome because they're super cheap, they're super easy to find and they're really disposable. Moving on to sponges again, you don't need to buy a whole special bunch of beauty blenders for your special effects makeup. I just buy a $2 bag of sponges, they look like this and these ones have all pretty shapes as well, there's like little love hearts and stuff in there. But um, yeah, you can use just pretty much any type of makeup sponge. And sometimes I do use these to apply latex, but then if you use a sponge to apply latex, you definitely have to throw it in the bin. So I also recommend bath sponges. Now this one was a lot larger when I brought it, and it was only a dollar, but as you can see, they're already textured enough. So you generally don't really have to texture these at all because they're just so textured and they're really easy to cut up and they're really good for stippling blood which is why I really like them and they're so cheap as well. So you can have a variety of sponges, this is like if you want to get more fancy with your kit. So I think you guys should really pick up some q-tips because they're awesome for applying blood, they um, kind of soak it up a little bit which is really good as well. And they're just so cheap, super dispensable. Um, you get them in packs of like 400 for a dollar. So you guys should definitely pick up a pair of these um, instead of brushes. If you're just starting out and you don't know if you like special effects or not, they're definitely really great. And they're also something you'd have around the house as well. So you don't even have to go out and buy these. So when it comes to blood, I know you guys are all really interested in the types of blood that I use, the colours, the variety, the textures, all that type of stuff. So when I started making my YouTube videos, I used to just make the blood myself. There's heaps of different things that you could do to make your own blood. I'll leave the recipe down below for the one that I always used to use to make my own blood for my own videos. Um, it's from Goldie Styling. It's a really awesome recipe. It's really simple. I definitely recommend making your own blood because you can make big batches of it for really, really cheap and you can change up the colour and consistency. You don't need to buy a whole bunch of dark blood and sage blood and thick blood because you can just make it yourself. So if you don't have the energy to make your own blood, you can also buy it as well. So I brought a lot of my products from Ben Nye and you guys would know this because I use them in every single one of my gory videos. And now it's time for me to show you guys some swatches of my favourite blood and the comparison between my favourite bloods. So starting out with the stage blood on the left, I'm just going to apply a little bit of this on my arm so you guys can see the true colour of the product. So that's the colour of the stage blood there. It's really, really bright and it looks a bit fake for my liking. I really love the dark blood. It's definitely one of my more favourites. Um, so I'll show you guys the difference between the dark blood and the stage blood. only the slightest difference as you can see that's the stage blood here and that's the dark blood there um, it's a real subtle difference but to me it makes a difference I don't know about you guys if you wanted to pick up a bottle of each or if you wanted to just pick up one bottle and um, I got these all from IMAX so they're all pretty cheap so I'm not really sure if you can get them online it's really difficult to get shipping to Australia so I'm not too sure how you would go about that so now I'm gonna swatch the fresh scab blood for you so that's just what it looks like there That's the swatch of the thick scab and it's a really good colour, I really like that one. So now we're going to try out the thick blood and we'll see if that's much of a difference. Okay, so the thick blood is a little bit darker in colour and it's also a lot thicker which I've never noticed which is funny. So um, yeah, there is a difference. So in order that's the stage blood, dark blood, fresh scab and thick blood. So 
So when it comes to paints, there's two different types that I like to use. There is grease paints and water-based paints. I really prefer grease paints the most because water-based, obviously, you need water to use and they're not as blendable as grease paints because they do set, which is a good thing that they do set, but I'm just a big fan of grease paints. So I'm going to do some swatches so you guys can make up your mind which ones you want to buy because when you're starting out a kit, you definitely don't want to go and buy a whole bunch of grease paints and a whole bunch of water-based paints. I'd really prefer if you would just buy one or the other when you're starting out, which is what I did. I started out with grease paints and they're still forever my favorite. Starting out with the Ben Nye Cream Black, I'm going to do a little swatch on my arm. So that's what the swatch looks like of the grease paint. Then I'm going to go in with the Wolf FX Black paint and this is a water-based paint. So the Ben Nye Grease paint is really, really smoky compared to the Wolf FX paint where it is really, really intense and really dark. But I mean, that's the point in having two different types, you can use them for different reasons. Now I'm going to show you guys an eyeliner as well, just because you don't need paints to colour your prosthetics. So going in with my Essence Eyeliner, which is just the one that I use on my eyes every single day. Okay, so considering that's only $2, like you look at the intensity compared to the Wolf FX paint and they're almost the exact same. So I have this cream makeup here and as the name says, it's pretty much a cream makeup. You don't need water to activate it, but you can use water to thin it down. It dries, not like a grease paint, so I'm going to test it out. I haven't actually used it. It was only $2, but it's looking pretty intense so far. So I think the color intensity on that one is actually really awesome and it does dry and you don't need water to activate it. So with the Clara palette, it comes with a whole different bunch of grease paints. That It's so expensive, I really don't like to use it, but the color pigment is absolutely unreal. So I'll do a swatch for you guys. So I would have to say that that is the darkest out of everything on my arm at the moment, but as I said, it's really expensive. The Wolf FX palette is one of those things that are, they're fairly expensive and you kind of save up a really long time for, and it's something that you get when you really, really know that special effects makeup is what you're into. Um, so I wouldn't recommend going out and buying this straight away either. I started out with the Montmartre face and body paint, so it's pretty much like this, and it's a really, really good dupe for the Wolf FX. Um, there's different palettes that you can buy with different colors as well. They're only about six or seven dollars from your local arts and crafts store. I'm going to swatch the blue color from the Montmartre palette. Now I'm going to take a swatch from the Wolf FX palette, which is the blue just here. This is a swatch from the Montmartre and this is a swatch from the Wolf FX and I really feel like there isn't much of a difference at all. They look almost the exact same to me. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed actually because this is so much more money so I definitely recommend if you guys can find this brand to go out and try it if you're into water-based paints. Um, yeah, that's actually really amazing. I'm really glad that I swatched those two together. And the best thing is that there's also many other alternatives to paint. You can use eyeliners, you can use lipstick, so there's a bunch of different things that you can use that are not expensive and that you would have around your home, so you don't need to go out buying Ben and I products if you have a bunch of different lipsticks and eyeliners at home. So I'm going to start out with the Jumbo Pencil, and this is a lip crayon from NYX. It's just a red lipstick from NYX as well. And just to finish it off, I'm going to go in with a Maybelline lipstick. This is the Super Stay 14 Hour Lipstick and it's just a red lipstick. So as far as these swatches go, that is the Maybelline lipstick up the top here. These two are the NYX lipstick products and these two are the Ben Nye products. So you guys can see what I'm saying here, how all of the products have the same color payout, but some of them aren't necessarily special effects products. So I hope you guys can keep that in mind when you're purchasing products as well. I don't want you to go out and buy a whole bunch of these if you have a whole bunch of lipsticks that you're not using. I've recently come across these wipes. They're called Johnson's Face Care Wipes Daily Essentials. And they just look like this. The actual wipe itself is so, it's not oily, but it has so much moisture in it. When you wipe off any type of grease paint product, it just comes off instantly. So I'd really say that these are a really good dupe if you're looking to remove grease paints and you don't want to go out and buy the, I think Ben Nye has a brand that removes grease paints, but they're XE as well. So if you want to look for a cheaper side, I really go for the Johnsons. So if you guys are wondering why I am dressed differently, one, it's winter, it's freezing and I need a jumper, and two, yesterday was the shortest day in Australia, 
So the sun set extremely early and I ran out of light. So that's why I'm filming on another day. So let's just get on with the video. The staple things that you're gonna need in your kit are simple things that you would have around the house, such as tweezers, scissors, makeup sharpener, and also a glue stick. Now I brought this glue stick um, especially for my eyebrows when I flatten them down in my tutorials. I don't just use this one on paperwork and schoolwork and stuff. So that's a separate little glue stick that I own for my kit. But surprisingly, using a glue stick isn't my favorite method anymore. My favorite method at the moment is to use masking tape. And I've been using masking tape in my last few tutorials. And I think I'm going to continue doing that now because it's a really safe way to make sure that your eyebrow hairs are not going to get ripped out. As far as uh, makeup goes, I keep my special effects makeup and my normal makeup separately, but I have the exception of foundation, so I need at least one foundation that matches my skin colour to use when I do latex and prosthetics, and I really like to use concealer as well because the consistency is a lot thicker. I prefer to use concealer over foundation these days, but it's up to you guys, you can use whatever you want. Now when I say I have props in my kit, that means um, items that aren't necessarily to do with makeup but I still need them in my kit. So this is like a little plastic wire and I'm planning on doing some sort of a stitched mouth look with this. And I also have some rusty nails and I brought these from a craft store as well. And I feel like you don't need these in your kit but I like to have things like this just if I'm kind of like feeling like doing something special effects and I just go into my kit, see these and I can make a look out of it. So you guys know what I'm saying, I've got bobby pins, I've got staples, I've got all this like nice gory stuff that I can make heaps of cool looks out of. And it's always good to buy a few jewels and gems for whenever you feel like doing something pretty or something fancy. Um, it's not necessary again, but I feel like it's nice to have in my kit. So while we're on the topic of things you don't necessarily need, contacts I feel like for me make a really big difference in my videos. They really transform your makeup. So I've got some from maplelens.com and they're like really large circle lenses and they're actually quite cheap as well. Now lashes again are another thing that are kind of if you are doing certain looks you would have them. I bought all of my lashes in bulk so I bought um, nine packets and it was like eight dollars and I got 90 pairs of lashes so I thought that was a really good bargain. They're really cheap lashes so you just wear them once or twice for a look and then you throw them out. Scar wax is something you should definitely pick up. Now you don't have to buy one as big as this. They also come in smaller sizes like this. My larger one online. I'm going to try to keep as many of the links that I brought them all from eBay um, in the down bar below so you guys can go check them out. So this is the palette that I started out with and it comes with a few hundred colours, I think it's like 150 colours or something like that. And I've mainly used the reds and the purples and some of the yellows over here for bruising, but yeah, as I said, it's really good to have a really nice cheap palette that you can just destroy for your looks. So I feel like translucent powders are really important to have in your kit. I like to use them to set and dust off the latex after it's all dry, just to make sure it doesn't have that shiny effect. So I'm using the Ben Nye Neutral Set, and I got this from IMAX. I can't remember how much it was, but it wasn't that expensive. I'm not a fan of buying expensive things. But before I used that, I always used to use my Essence All About Matte Translucent Powder. You can just pick this up for about $2.50 at your local price line or something like that and there's really no difference this is just a compact form but I always have a few bold caps in my kit I don't love putting them on because I look like such a boy but whenever I put them on and then transform myself into something it always turns out really amazing and it's really fun to just play with them I feel like you need tissues in your special effects kit just because it's really good, it's really great for making wounds and if you're not a fan of using tissues, cotton wool is always an awesome one to use as well. So I've got both in my kit but I've been favouring cotton wool lately. So I carry a lot of plastic plates in my kit as well. This is just going to help me when I pour out my blood, when I pour out my latex, you just throw them straight out, they're cheap, they're dispensable. I also have plastic cups for when I'm doing my water based paint because you don't want to be using cups that you're drinking out of. 
So I say the best until last, I'm going to talk to you guys about my liquid latex because I definitely get a lot of questions about it in my videos and my comments below. So this latex I brought from eBay, I think it was $30, that includes shipping and everything and it's a liter of latex. You guys don't need to buy latex if you're only planning on doing these looks once a year for Halloween, you can just use your lash glue. So that's it everybody, that is the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed my recommendations for a starter special effects kit. And if you did, please remember to give the video a very big thumbs up. Thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to stay safe and I love you all. Bye guys.